All right, welcome back, guys. Today we're going to be talking about a particular uh, substance called choline bitartrate um, and how you can use this to have better lucid dreams, which will not only you know be more vivid, but you'll also be able to remember them better. So firstly, we're just going to talk a bit about what actually choline bitartrate is, because I know a lot of you are probably thinking, you know, um, is it a supplement? You know, is it herb? Basically, choline bitartrate is used alongside um, vitamin B5 to make something called acetylcholine. Um, which is a substance which naturally occurs in your body, um, but it's also the main neurotransmitter found or active during REM sleep. Now, REM sleep, as you, I'm sure you're aware, is rapid eye, eye movement sleep, which is the main sleep stage in which you dream, um, and also the pretty much the only time you can lucid dream properly. Um, so it's quite important, and this, this neurotransmitter is active during that stage, and if you supplement it, you know, or if you get more of it naturally through your diet, um, you will actually experience, you know, more lucid dreams. They'll be more vivid and they'll be better. So, let's just firstly let's talk about how you can get it naturally in your diet at first, uh, and then we'll look at things like you know supplementing with with pills or even uh, just increasing the intake of certain foods in your diet. So, firstly, you can actually get choline naturally through your diet from things like fish, from things like eggs, uh, sprouts, dairy products, peanuts. Uh, meat and broccoli. Now, being a vegan myself, I wouldn't actually recommend that you use, you know, meat, meat and dairy sources for uh, choline, because you can quite easily get it from vegetables and especially broccoli. Um, but you could also just supplement it as well. So um, I would recommend that you just basically increase your intake of fruit and vegetables. Have more, you know, green and colourful fruit and veg every day with every meal. Um, or if that's you know too much of a challenge, what you can actually do is just start having like what I do in the morning is I'll have a pint of about um, you know three to four different fruits and maybe one vegetable in a, in a smoothie. Um, so you could have, for example, bananas, spinach, um, kiwi, apple, and, and then you could add in some other things like uh, spirulina or flax seeds and you know, if you do that every morning, you're going to get a lot of choline and you're going to naturally start lucid dreaming more anyway. So one of the other things I forgot to mention was that actually by being a vegan, uh, you do tend to experience more lucid dreams in general. Uh, not only do you sleep better, but you also feel, uh, feel better. And as a result, your dreams are better, uh, especially those lucid dreams. So that's something to bear in mind. So you're probably already consuming some amount of choline. Uh, the question is, you know, how much do you need to have in order to lucid dream properly? Um, so I'm just going to look at my notes here. So it seems the best dosage that we've found so far for lucid dreaming is 650 milligrams uh, per day, um, somewhere between 650 milligrams to one and a half grams. Um, obviously, you can start much lower than that and then see how your body reacts, uh, because every everyone's body reacts differently to certain things. So, you know, you don't want to start taking loads of it without realizing what it's going to do, you know, how you're going to react. It might react, for example, with what you're already taking. But generally speaking, you know, if you're taking things like a multivitamin, maybe a nootropic, um, a fit, uh, an omega-3, 6, 9 capsule, um, it's probably going to be fine. You know, it's probably not going to interact like badly with those things because it's all fairly natural. How to use choline bitartrate to actually lucid dream? You know, this is why you're here, right? How do you actually use this substance to have more lucid dreams um, and to remember them more, right? Well, the first stage is you need to make sure that you're writing your dreams down. And I don't just mean like, you know, you write the title and then you write, oh, I was in a field. I mean, detailed descriptions of what you actually did, where you were, who you were with, uh, how you felt, these sorts of things. And you need to highlight the important parts. And I know this sounds like a, a broken record, but that will really train your mind to uh, remember more dreams and in time you know you'll naturally remember them and by doing that you're telling your mind I want to lose a dream and I want to be aware of my dreams so that's really important to start doing if you haven't already which of course you should have um, now the next stage is you're going to try and combine using choline with a technique like the wake back to bed now the reason I say that is because the wake back to bed technique is one of the most versatile uh, effective techniques that you can use, right, in combination with things like supplements, uh, with things like binaural beats, with things like sleep masks, uh, lucid dreaming tech. These things are all really, they work really well combined with a wake back to bed technique. 
because like I said, that's the best time to lucid dream in your REM sleep. So what I would suggest doing is taking a small amount of choline before you do your wake back to bed. So say if you would normally wake up at eight in the morning, set your alarm for six, wake up at that time, take a small amount of choline, like for example, 200, 300 milligrams, uh, and then go about your normal wake back to bed technique, which if you can't remember how to do it, there should be a, a description link, or you should be able to just type into YouTube, wake back to bed, and I'm sure my video or you know one of the many others will pop up. So go ahead and do that. And what you'll notice is that it will be a lot easier than normal. You know, by taking choline before you do the technique, it will all appear easier and it will just be a smoother sort of a smoother ride. You know, it will all be easier. Now, there are actually various ways you can get choline, you know, buy online and uh, take it. The way I would recommend if you're new to this is just to go onto Amazon and I'll give you a link in the description actually for a, a fairly cheap and good value uh, one uh, and just get a basic choline bitartrate supplement okay and what that will do is that will let you change the dosage yourself and like say if you start down at 50 to 100 milligrams a day you can up that or you know decrease that depending on how you react to it and that's quite important if you're starting out and then once you've you know had a bit of experience with that you've done that for a few weeks or months then you can start moving on to things like um, like specific supplements, you know. So you have like uh, Clary Dream, Dream Leaf, Lucid Esk. These these supplements are all in the link in the description, by the way. You should get a discount. Um, but a lot of those naturally in include choline because it's so effective for lucid dreaming. So that is really it for me uh, for this video, guys. If you need any more help, if you for example, if you need to like learn how to do a, a particular technique, please leave a comment in the video down below and I'll try and reply to them as soon as I can. Um, failing that, you know, my site howtolucid.com has a lot of information and articles on how you can get started. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe now and I'll see you in the next video.